Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So today we are not in Waco, Texas. We just arrived in San Angelo. So it was a pretty rough day yesterday. We drove back home to go see family for Thanksgiving. We drove back to Waco yesterday. It took about six hours. Got in late last night. I woke up early this morning and I drove to San Angelo. It is 12 o'clock right now. It took about three and a half hours to get here. I'm meeting my parents here to go hunting. I have not went hunting in about five years and it's my madre's birthday so i come down here my brother lives here in san angelo so i'm gonna meet up with them they've been getting some deer so hopefully she gets a deer if i don't go i'm super excited hopefully i can get one too but right now we're gonna go into academy we got to give me a hunting license and then we're gonna head out there we're gonna see we're gonna get uh, the bows crossbows and the rifles we're gonna get them all sighted in and i'm gonna figure out what lease we're going to and what we're gonna get to use so let's get in here get that and head out there real quick i would just like to point out i have no idea where anything so I'm having to GPS everything, even if it's like a quarter of a mile away from where I'm located. In three quarters of a mile, turn left onto South. All right, we're here. So uh, we're gonna be shooting with crossbows. Some are gonna be shooting with rifles. My mom and everybody. I'm actually using my mom's crossbow. I have my crossbow, but uh, it's shooting off a little bit, and hers is uh, a lot faster. It's pink and black, but it's pretty legit looking, so I don't really care. Uh, we got all the camo on, are about to head out there, so the next time you see me, you're going to be on a chest mount. I'm going to be up in a tripod on a tree stand, and hopefully we can get one tonight, so let's go check it out. I was thinking she had another husk up there, but I don't see one. Up. Oh. Oh. Feeder just went off. And it is 424. So let's get up there. This is going to be our home. All right, here we go. Feeder's right there. In about 20 yards. So let's get it. All right, so I know you guys can't see much in the light, but um, it was right over here. I just found the bolt, and it was right there. He stopped back there twice. Tracking blood on a buck right now. I just spooked him and he ran, so we get a guy. Went and got another crossbow. I'm trying to still track him down. Well, we tracked it a long ways to this field. It's gonna get to 32 degrees tonight, so we're gonna go ahead and leave it lay. We're gonna leave mine lay too, cause he got gut shot. We confirmed it with holes on the ground. So we're gonna come out here in the morning, try to get some more and find these. But we're gonna go scan and clean my mom's book. Oh. 
That'll work. See y'all after a while. It's a different tree. One right here. It's 736 feeder didn't go off still that deer was feeding right over there just on stuff on the ground and then it slowly walked off to the right and uh, I can see some way off over there in the field but I haven't seen anything else over here not even any coons no turkeys no porcupines armadillos nothing We can also take a minute to appreciate that Texas sunrise. Can't get any better than a Texas sunrise, so. I don't know why this feeder didn't go off either. Oh look, looks like an armadillo hole right there. So I'm just gonna make a house right where the food gets thrown out every day. All right, so there's the feeder that I was setting at last night, and I watched them come over here, so there's got to be a blood trail over here somewhere. All right, yeah, there's fresh, fresh tracks right here. Might have been from this morning. No, blood right there. So she definitely come through here. More blood. More blood. All right, cool. This way. Blood actually looks pretty fresh, honestly. So there's blood. Okay, so she turned and went this way. All right, picked it up again. Right next to this little ravine. I have a feeling she's going to be laying right up here. All right, so just in case I edit that part out, I tracked the blood across, uh, it looked like it crossed the river. And so uh, I went ahead and I followed the river bank. I found one, uh, found a deer laying up there. Pretty positive it's mine. It's got an entry hole about where I shot it, but uh, something got a hold of it already and was eating on it. Probably some dogs, there's a bunch of dogs over there. So that sucks because like to have that meat for my family rather than just go to a waste of some animals out here when there's plenty of other meat that they can eat so that sucks but i mean that's mother nature so it is what it is so i got to 31 degrees last night but it got pretty warm and the doe's been setting in the sun and right now it's 9 47 so dogs were over there eating it whenever we went back over there the face is gone the back end's gone and so we're gonna go ahead and leave it so happy birthday to my madre and she got her a buck good enough, good enough. thanks all right heading out so we i don't know where it last left off out there but we did not find my dad's buck uh we tracked it as long as we could and then the blood just disappeared we uh, grid the whole uh, field out there we didn't see anything no more blood no anything at all so i'm not sure where he is i think my brother is going to go back out there later and uh, scan the trees again but um mine i showed you guys something was eating it it was sitting in the sun it was getting high it already went through the river and um, i just the meat was really questionable so i just left it for the foxes and the raccoons and uh, 
and everything like that out there. But my mom did get hers all taken care of, and uh, she gave me a little bit of the meat because that's her fourth. I think that's her fourth one. So I'm glad she got one on her birthday, though. It's pretty sweet. So now, finally, heading back to Waco. I'm beat. I'm tired. It's been a long week traveling and a long week just driving. So I got a good three and a half hours ahead of me to get home. But I'm excited. So I appreciate you guys watching this video and checking out the channel. It means a lot to me. If you could hit that like, maybe hit that subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And y'all just have a great rest of your day and I'll catch y'all in the next one.